hello everyone so as we are moving on we are in the lecture number 14 of thermodynamics and the subtopic of today's discussion is adiabatic reversible expansion so far we have discussed isothermal reversible and irreversible expansions right now it's time for discussing the adiabatic expansions firstly the reversible expansion and in that case since all the three uh, variables state functions are changing pvt so they are not following the exact pv equals to nrt equation they should have some different types of uh, relationship among them because heat is not allowed to pass through the boundary of the system and the system has its overall energy content same okay so First of all, let's find out the relation between P, V and T. For adiabatic reversible expansion, we have to uh, start from this key factor, key fact, which is dQ equals to 0. That means heat is not allowed to pass through. So there is no heat change. That means dQ equals to 0. And from the first law of thermodynamics, since dQ is equal to dU minus dW, then du minus dw is also equal to 0 okay and since we know that dw is minus pdv or minus dw equals to equals to pdv then we can put this value here so 0 equals to du plus pdv therefore what is the expression of du now for this specific case where dq equals to 0 in that case as a special case of first law of thermodynamics we have already seen earlier that du equals to minus pdv but in another relation we know that du is also equal to cv into dt we have already derived this one too okay so let's compare these two the left hand sides are same therefore the right hand side should be equal so after having compared these two equations we can write cv dt equals to minus pdv okay now Let's put the ideal gas equation for one mole. P equals to nRT, therefore P equals to RT by V. So we are putting here RT by V. Okay. Now let's rearrange this uh, these terms. CV into dT by T. So the T term is here in the left hand side, and minus R into dV by V. This V term in the right hand side. So these two are the variables T and V here, whereas CV and R are constants. So let's differentiate them by giving appropriate limits. If temperature is T1, okay, then volume is V1. When the temperature changes from T1 to T2, then the volume is also changing from V1 to V2. So the lower limit of temperature is T1 and the upper limit of temperature is T2, whereas the lower limit of volume is V1 and the upper limit of volume is V2. So these two are the limitations of this integration. So after integrating both sides, we can get the results Cv ln T2 by T1 and here in the right hand side minus R ln V2 by V1. Okay. And when this negative sign is eliminated, in that case, it should be reciprocated. So V2 by V1 becomes V1 by V2. Okay. Or what is the value of natural log of V1 by V2? No. This R is sent to the other side of this equation what is there in the other side no I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm wrong here if ln t2 by t1 is taken in one side then this cv is sent to other side of the equation that means to the right hand side of this equation so here we can write ln t2 by t1 equals to r by cv into ln v1 by v2 okay and we know just in the last lecture we have found that cp minus cv equals to r so in place of r we can also write cp minus cv so in the right hand side, in place of R, we are writing here Cp minus Cv over Cv into ln V1 by V2. Okay. Then this one can also be uh, simplified as Cp by Cv minus 1. And here we know this is the Poisson's ratio. So we can put gamma here, the Poisson's ratio. So gamma minus 1 into ln V1 by V2. Then this 
gamma minus 1 can be sent to the power of v1 by v2 and both these ln terms can be eliminated in that case we can write t2 by t1 equals to v1 by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 that means t1 into v1 to the power gamma minus 1 equals to t2 into v2 to the power gamma minus 1 that means t into v to the power gamma minus 1 is constant so this is the relationship between temperature and volume okay if it would have been, it would it wouldn't have been adiabatic change it would, it, would, it would have been some uh, isothermal change where energy is allowed to pass through then the relation would have been tv equals to constant okay at constant pressure but here the relationship is something different tv to the power gamma minus 1 equals to constant and the pressure is also not at all constant here okay so uh, due to all these changes the final result is tv to the power gamma minus 1 equal to constant for adiabatic expansion of ideal gas now in the equation tv to the power gamma minus 1 equal to constant we can put t equals to pv by r yes definitely because pv equals to r d for one mole of ideal gas then we can write t equals to pv by r okay so here in place of t we are just putting this value pv by r and then into v to the power gamma minus 1 it is as usual so v to, v to the power gamma minus 1 equals is as usual so its product is constant okay now just the result of this product is what now this is p into v to the power gamma minus 1 equals to divided by r equals to constant that means p into v to the power gamma minus 1 equals to constant into r and this is yet another constant okay because r is also a constant so we can write pv to the power gamma equal to constant this is the second relationship and from this we can also write p1 v1 to the power gamma equals to p2 v2 to the power gamma okay so this is the second relationship between p and p so the first one was t and v and second one is p and v so what is left now p and t okay so very simple let, let's recall this equation tv to the power gamma minus 1 equals to constant and in place of v we just put here rt by p because pv equals to rt so v equals to rt by p so we are putting this value rt by p okay then rt by p whole to the power gamma minus 1 into t equals to constant and simplification of this of this product is nothing but t to the power gamma into p to the power 1 minus gamma by r to the power uh, 1 minus gamma then when this r to the power 1 minus gamma is taken to the right hand side then it becomes constant into r to the power 1 minus gamma and this is yet another constant okay so we can conclude that t to the power gamma into p to the power 1 minus gamma equals to constant and also from from this we can write t1 to the power gamma p1 to the power 1 minus gamma equals to t2 to the power gamma into p2 to the power 1 minus gamma okay so what is the expression of final temperature t2 the expression of final temperature t2 for an adiabatic change adiabatic reversible change of an ideal gas should be this one okay just take this p2 in the other side of the equation then p1 by p2 hold it for 1 minus gamma then when this gamma power is eliminated then it becomes 1 minus gamma over gamma okay so the power gamma from t1 is eliminated and that is why we can write here the reciprocal of gamma so the final expression is t2 equals to t1 into p1 by p2 whole to the power 1 minus gamma over gamma so these are the relations between p b and t and we have got three expressions p and v t and v and t and p okay so that's all for this lecture thank you have a nice day